In this presentation we're gonna see some of the miscellaneous commands related to breakpoint in WinDebug. These are basically management commands to disable, enable and uh, list breakpoints. So let's go to a demo straight away. So this is the Hello World application again. So I'm going to put a couple of breakpoints here using BP BP say for example this particular function then BP hello world bang w main so now we have two breakpoints so to display the breakpoints which is currently enabled or disabled the command is BL so this particular E denotes that these breakpoints are enabled now if I want to disable those breakpoints I can use BD BD1 so that will disable the second breakpoint or the first breakpoint count start from 0 as you can see this breakpoint became disabled now if I want I can enable it back using the command BE So now it got enabled back. Now if I want to remove the breakpoint, it is BC, BC1. So now if I do BL, there is only one breakpoint. The second breakpoint got removed. So all these commands we have seen will support a star. Star means that all. So if I do a BD star, it'll disable all the breakpoints. Let me put the second breakpoint back. So now if I do a BD star, as you can see, both the breakpoints got disabled. Also, same thing I can do for enable as well. BE star. So both the breakpoints got enabled as you can see here. Also if I want I can remove all the breakpoints BC star via so there is no breakpoint. I'm putting back those two breakpoints to show you these operations can be done in the UI as well using the WinDebug. For that uh, you have to go to edit breakpoints. So these are the two breakpoints here. Normally I don't use this UI. Normally I go with the commands, but if you want to use the UI, pretty much all the operation we have seen, you can do it here. So there is one command called dot bpcmd. So what this command does is it'll show you the existing breakpoints and I'll try to show you the commands we have used to execute those breakpoints for example bp my test bang no break so this is an imaginary breakpoint in an imaginary binary so bp is going to put a unresolved breakpoint so I have given a condition as well now if I do BP CMDS, I'll get that particular command which I have used to put that breakpoint. So this is the function addresses of this and this respectively. So these are basically the commands you use to manage the breakpoints. So breakpoints are one of the most important topics when it comes to live debugging. That's it. Thank you very much.